At the most recent Becker County Board of Commissioners meeting, the Becker County Board of Commissioners decided to split apart one department and make it two. Ever since I've lived here in the Lakes area and even a few years before that, the Becker County Assessor's Office and the Environmental Services Department have been combined in one location under one department head, Steve Scoot. As I mentioned at the most recent meeting, the county decided to split those apart, have one person to work environment, and one person to be the assessor. And I do think this is a smart move by Becker County. I think the two positions just weren't really compatible. And maybe at a time when they put them together in an attempt to save money, it made sense. Maybe there wasn't as much going on as far as assessment law and property taxes at the time. And certainly we didn't have as much going on in the environment and recycling, the perm incinerator, and a new transfer station, just to name the least. Now, Mr. Skug has decided to remain as the department head for the Environmental Services Department at a salary of over $100,000 a year. Now, I think that that's awfully high for department head, in fact, any unelected department head in Becker County, but that might be a topic for another day. But what I really think this has done is opened up an opportunity here in Becker County to look at the way we assess property and we pay property taxes here in Minnesota. What are we going to have as our assessor? How is the assessment process going to go? Well, I think we're going to need an assessor if the county decides to maintain a full-time assessor on their own. We're going to need one with ties not from this area. I want an outsider coming in. I don't want anybody that's got friends or family whose uncle might have a farm over here and they grew up in a cabin over here. I want somebody that's going to come in and do it by the book. I want somebody that's going to be as fair as possible. And when it comes to fairness with assessments, that's another issue. We need to figure out a way to make it fairer. I don't know if this is something that can be done at the county level. I don't know if this is something that needs to be done at the state level. But I think for far too long, the assessments of the state of Minnesota are frankly way too arbitrary. Your property is worth this much because this is what this person thinks. Now, the reality is since the housing market crashed in 2008, there are very few people who have been able to sell their properties at the price they're being assessed. Lots of people might have homes that are assessed at $180,000 to $200,000. And yet they'd be lucky to get between $140,000 and $150,000 for their property. And some people have purchased properties at that price and yet are still being assessed as if the property was worth over $200,000. Now for years before the housing market collapsed, I would hear people complain to both city leaders and county leaders about the property assessments and the taxes they paid. The comeback to those residents was always put your home and property on the market. See what you'll get. You'll get what we're assessing you for. That argument no longer exists. That argument has now fallen by the wayside. So what is the fairest way to do a property tax assessment? Like I said, I'm not a tax expert. I don't know all the answers, but just some of the ideas I'm kicking around in my head. You should be assessed whatever you paid for the property for. And maybe not for the lifetime because take somebody like me who's 30 years old. I might buy a house now and live in it till I'm 90. Definitely that house will increase in value over that 60 years. But let's say you buy a house, and maybe for the first 5 or 10 years, you're assessed on whatever you paid for that house. Then at that point, you have some kind of universal mathematical equation that would bring up the value slowly. And cap it at some level, too. Nobody should have to go through a 12, 15, or 20% property tax increase year to year, as we've seen locally in the city of Detroit Lakes and in other areas around the state. Property taxes have become a big issue after the homestead market credit went away. Everyone's starting to feel the pain of them now if they weren't before. And I simply would like to point out that the state of Texas doesn't even use assessors. Since 1981, they've had a whole process for doing their assessments. And they seem to save hundreds of millions of dollars in not having to pay those assessors. Maybe that's what the state of Minnesota needs to look at. Getting rid of the whole assessment process as it is and start from the ground up. Because I'll tell you what, it's not fair when you get assessed $200,000 for a property, you know you can't sell for more than $150,000.